everything we do in technology is moving a step by step towards this this better future where humans actually have a really really good experience and end user computing has been and is and has been and will be right at the forefront of that I really didn't have a clue what I wanted to be when I grew up. I had absolutely no plans whatsoever. I think every path would have taken me into technology. When you're looking at remote workers, let's start with experience. Let's make sure we can give them the best experience. And then we can start to go down that pyramid a little bit and look at their applications, look at their devices, look at their, you know, their networking, their storage, etc. But number one has always been employee experience. And then when the big day came to get everyone turned on, we moved them from the one office to, to the new office. It was a Monday morning and I set, we set uh, a criteria for success. And what I said was, look, if by 9.30, we haven't had any complaints, we haven't had anyone phoning up and saying, you know what, this isn't working, my, my device isn't working, then we can count that as a success. So 9.30 came, we were all high-fiving, we we're all congratulating each other, uh, that we'd have no calls. And then about 15 minutes later, we worked out that we'd had no calls because the phone system wasn't working. So I think that sort of demonstrates that maybe it was just me, I don't know, the, the sort of myopic view and, and maybe the, the metrics that IT tend to use when it comes to understanding if their users are actually happy. And I see this as a pyramid. Um, you've got user experience at the top with people at the top. Then you've got applications. You need applications to get information to people. Then you've got devices. And then everything underneath that, whether or not it's, it's, it's storage or networking or cloud or data center, all of that is what I call, probably unfairly, the plumbing. We need the plumbing to get all of that, to get all of the information to people, to give them an amazing experience. So I'd say I'm probably 60, 65% business and people focused and the rest of that technology focused. A lot of that time, it's it's about being able to simplify maybe a complex technical solution into something that's very simple, and that then provides that particular fix to their pain point. And that's that's what it takes. Defocus on the technology a little bit, refocus on the the, the customer requirements, and and refocus on the bigger picture. And EUC is a really really good example of that. I would get all those courses and certifications, I promised myself, done. Probably, if Netflix didn't get in the way. I think, and maybe maybe you be the judge of this, I think it's communication. Hopefully, um, good sense of humour. Funny. That's a, that's a word. That's a single word. I've been told I look a little bit like Woody from Toy Story. I'm living the dream. There you go. Listen to your customers. That's it. Listen.